Hey everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. So I'm halfway in the new space. Um, I discovered something about myself yesterday. I can't move a 60 inch TV all by myself. And I can't move a six foot extremely heavy dresser all by myself. So that being said, a couple of things. Gotta wait a couple of days to get the space completely set up. But we're halfway there and I'm content with that. So Scorpio, we're starting off the November set with you. This will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for November 2021. Resonates with y'all. Cool. If not, check the Moon, Rising, Venus sign readings. If you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better, just keep in mind time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher and our dear friends. Cross watchers are always welcome here at the first Iron Tarot table. Everybody's always welcome at my table. And I appreciate y'all stopping by, new and old. If you're new, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you think you might want to come back a little bit more often. That way you know when I upload. Super awesome of you. If you're returning, welcome back. I mean, we're working on it, right? We're working on it. I'm working on it. I kind of like them there. It, it dials the light down just enough. Just enough. I might leave them up. I might not. I, don't know. I might get some real curtains at some point. Anyway, anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel and it all helps the videos and the messages be circulated to those who might need them. So, okay. I'm going to cut to the chase here. Drop it down. All right. Heavenly Father, Mother, Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask how many messages you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November 2021. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you and I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given and I ask that you help me use it to bring Scorpio to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Three of Wands. We're waiting. Okay, what are you waiting on? Hmm. Well. Okay. Hmm. Soulmate connection. Wheel of Fortune at the end, in the immediate future, destiny is about to play out. You might not be having to wait much longer. You're coming into your own, though, with this Queen of Wands. You know what you want. You're going after it. I'm not sure about that. I'm going to throw a clarifier on that. Why is it all happening? Excellent. Okay. You're open to it. You're ready for it. You come to that space of inner peace and contentment. This is awesome. I'm loving this for you right now. You've gotten here. You're ready to receive this. Because you've exercised patience. You're in a more positive place. Outcome. Change, death, old cycles ending, new cycles being allowed to begin. It is your card, friends. It is your card. It's going to make it or break it. Two of swords. A decision made with clarity. Okay. Speaking of clarity. Speaking of clarity. Come on now. Get in there. Oh, now we're going to be stubborn. We're going to be. There we go. These old beat up cards. My poor cards. My poor cards. I wonder what 
the Six of Cups is all about. I mean, it's nostalgia and it's happiness, but... Talk to me about the Six of Cups, please, Source. Talk to me about the Six of Cups. Yeah! Didn't work out. Wasn't abundant. I think everything just kind of crumbled. Do you want me to keep beating the dead horse? I don't think I need to. It didn't work out. What's up with this Wheel of Fortune? Talking about the Wheel of Fortune. I'm not pouring salt in anybody's wounds today, guys. I'm just not. Eight of Swords. Destiny is coming into play. It may put you up in your head space a little bit. You're in a space right now where you know what you want and you're going after it. So, that being said... Universe, one card. How can Scorpio maintain the Queen of Wands energy and allow destiny to come into play without going into Eight of Swords? How do we avoid the Eight of Swords? Thank you. Five of Pentacles. Mmm. friends. You understand this is a process, right? This is positive. This is positive. You were here. You were here. It's, it's, it's a rebuilding. It's a rebuilding. It's change. A change in the situation is coming. It looks bad now, but it's it's going to get better. Tell me about this page of swords. One on this page of swords. I'm not going to keep this too overly long. Hereford in reverse. It's acceptance. It's, ex it's acceptance. I'm hearing don't repeat the lesson. Don't repeat the lesson. Don't repeat the lesson. Come into your truth. Know the difference between truth and non-truth. Don't repeat the lesson. I feel like you get up into this space a lot and something new comes in. It consumes you because back here, something didn't work out. I think you've waited a long time. Don't repeat the lesson. You're here. You're here. This is coming because you got here. Don't go back here. Don't go back here. Achieve your clarity. Make decisions with clarity. One on the two of swords, please. Six of pentacles reversed. Red flags. Don't put in more than you're getting out too quickly.
Until you've received all of the information, don't put in more than you're getting. That's the lesson you need to repeat. It, yeah, that's the lesson you... Get what I'm trying to say. Don't repeat the lesson. Don't overthink it. Nine swords are first. Don't overthink it. Don't get back into that headspace. Exercise a little bit more patience before you let your guard down totally. Don't be so defensive you're not letting anything in, but don't, like, rush. Two of Wands, Three of Cups. The Moon and the Hare Hunt. Okay. Ordinarily, I would say don't hang out at the intersection too long, but this is about having patience with the process. It's okay to sit at that intersection for a minute. It's okay to carefully discern which path you're going to take. Don't repeat the lesson. Something might seem a little bit shady. Mm, I mean, don't assume everything's a red flag, but... At the same time, don't miss the red flags either. That's what I'm getting out of that. Bottom of the deck. Knight of Swords again. Knight of Swords again. Knight of Swords again. Honesty. Truth. Honesty and truth. It could be an air sign you're dealing with. Okay, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, that went well, I thought. Have a wonderful first part of your November, and I will catch you guys in a couple of weeks for your next read. Much love. Be blessed.